Step 1. Open the part. All you have to do in SOLIDWORKS is click on the open icon, navigate to the part, and click open. And you're ready to go. Step 2. Getting familiar with the tree. Everything from inputting in the parameters, meshing the part, running it, or reviewing the results. Everything's under your fingertips. As simple as 1, 2, 3. Step 3. Defining the material. All you have to do is click on the polymer, navigate through the 5000 plus thermoplastic material, click on the ABS, and navigate to the first one, and hit accept. Step 4. The machine. Here, all you have to do is click on the machine icon, navigate which machine you want, select the medium machine, and then go ahead and click on check mark. Step 5. Specify the processing conditions. All you have to do is click on flow pack under process. Go ahead and click on auto to define the automatic filling time. Then after that, make sure you go ahead and select pack all the way on the top. And then hit yes to enable pack calculation and make sure residual stress calculation is selected. Hit accept. Step 6. The gate. Go ahead and click on select gate. Pick on the surface you want to choose the gate on. Then go ahead and say add gate and click accept. And that's it. Voila! Step 7 is meshing the part. You can go ahead and click on surface mesh. Take a look at the different sizes. You can also input in a value if you choose to or let it mesh it for you. Um, hit accept and see how easy and fast to mesh the part for you. You can zoom in if you choose. But that's how easy it is. Step 8. Run the flow pack analysis. It is simple by you just looking at run flow pack, click on it, and take a look at the log file to see when it finishes. Step 9. Review the results. Here you can go ahead and look at all the different types of results that Simpoa gives you. Like pressure, simple temperature, um, melt front, um, volume shrinkage, perfect cooling time, and one of my favorites is the optimized gate location. You get it right there on the screen. Step 10. Look at the animation of the melt front. All you have to do is look at the flow results. Go ahead and choose the animation at the bottom and hit play. And you'll view visually on the screen how the plastic will flow inside the part. You can go ahead and look at it, animate it again as many times as you want to get the full effect and the feeling of how that result looks like. Step 11. Look at the air traps and weld lines. All you have to do is click on air traps and you'll see all the locations where the air bubbles exist. If you do the same thing by clicking on weld lines, you'll see the weld lines on the part. Step 12. Looking at the pack analysis results. All you have to do is click on pack results and take a look at all the different results you have in front of you. From here, you get an idea of what happens at the packing stage and how the part will look like. Step 13, looking at the profile curve results. All you have to do is click on profile under results. It will automatically take you to an Excel spreadsheet by which it generates a lot of plots. One on inlet pressure, one on inlet flow rate, and another on clamping forces. Step 14 is all around warp analysis. First, you need to run the warp analysis. Once it's complete, go ahead and click on warp results. Here you'll see all the different warping in different directions, or you can look at warp in a, the total direction. You can also go ahead and animate the warping looking at it. Let me go ahead and increase the scale so we can view it better. And we can see it exaggerated, and you can go ahead and see it animated by just clicking animation and clicking the play button, as you would see on the screen. 